All right, in this video, we're going to build the mega brutal high gain rig. I was going to rock. All right, so we're going to go in here and we're going to choose. I haven't really done the M2 lead a whole lot. I've done some Bogner rigs and some Sodonio rigs, but this is based off of the. Uh, the most boogie Mach 2 amplifier. So I'm gonna keep the cab in there. And the first thing I'm gonna do, you hear all that hiss that's going on? So I like to bring my gate threshold down. So it just kind of cleans up that noise floor and bring the gate release up kind of high. Then the, the last thing I'll do is I'm gonna adjust this noise filter. Check this out. Here how it cleans all that up. So I can be playing. And then when I'm not playing, it's nice and silent. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, let's call this brutal. Because we're about to get brutal. All right. I really, I'm going to default to my uh, my tried and true custom IR. Custom as in I didn't make it, but custom as in I use it all the time. So it's the M160 cap edge two inches away. It just sounds good. <laughs> So that way I don't have to mess with different mics or whatnot. I just go with the IR that I already know sounds good. So, all right. So with high gain amps, it's very hard to boost that those kind of amps with any kind of other pedal because um, it's already so compressed. When you put another pedal into the front end of the amp like that, it's just not, uh, it doesn't change a whole lot. So let me show you an example. Let's do the tried and true uh, JRC. We don't need tons of gain. But the level's all the way up, so. All right, so there's a, a slight change, but not very much. So listen. So it got a little bit brighter, but the volume and the gain really didn't get pushed that much. Even though the level's at 100%, it's just not uh, its not gonna change all that much. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. You have to go back and maybe turn the drive down on the amp. And let me show you this. I mean, even with the drive all the way down, it's still fairly gainy, so. So if you want some clarity in your chords, I would just suggest to keep your gain, or your, in this case, the drive down. And then let's look at some other stuff. So you can scoop the mids even more than it already is. Um, let me turn out the, keep the bass where it is to bring up the treble. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure, I'm not familiar with Mesa Boogie amps that much. Because there's a volume here, then there's a drive and a master volume up here. So if anybody knows what this other volume is for, then do tell, because I'm, I'm wanting to know. That. Runs all the way down. All 
All right, now you notice when we kick in the JRC that since I have the gain on the amp down a little bit more, I'm able to boost that with an actual pedal and not have it be so compressed. So. <laughs> Which is what I like, which is what tube screamers are for. I really can't stand a tube screamer all by itself into a clean amp. Um, I prefer to have it into an overdriven amp and then boosting the the gain, uh, you know, more with the pedal. So let's save that. Let's add in the uh, the volume so we can do volume swell stuff. I am not using a compressor for this rig just because I think it's it's already compressed. Why add a compressor? It just doesn't make sense. So and really there's not a whole lot you know you'd have to do. Let's do let's do the uh the early reflection reverb thing. Just so it's not so dry. <laughs> That's not bad. Let's ring the tone down. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do some delay. I really like the Bucket br Brigade. It's hard to say, actually. Bucket Brigade. Let's do 3 sixteenths. Mix down. Feedback up. All right, so in this kind of situation, I'm going to let the amp do the work. Let's go ahead and bring the drive up. Because I could add in, I could add in another distortion. Let's try the black op. And see what would happen. See, I just don't think it's adding that much. So let's let's take it out because we're already compressing the amp. And two, I mean, you just want to keep things simple. You don't, don't think you have to add, you know, take up all these blocks. It's just, it's just not necessary. So, um, I mean, if, I guess if you wanted to add in, let's just do the tried and true wall pedal. This sounds good. Let's do a shine wall default. <laughs> All right, so there's a very basic rig, wall pedal, tube screamer, amp, volume pedal, delay, little bit of reverb, and that's about it. So let me know what you guys would put in these other slots, if anything. Um, you know, because typically I would have this paired up with maybe a clean amp and just go back and forth. So we're going to have some variation in, in dirt. But, uh... <laughs> Let's 
Let's bring up some the mix on the delay. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for this video. I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next one. Keep rocking.